All right, dogs, it's your favorite lab rat back in the lab. So on the sign off yesterday, you know, I expressed some frustration and I think that is just, that's what comes with the game of golf. And, you know, you're putting in as much work as, as me or just anyone else. And you have a session where it doesn't go well. You're going to start questioning everything and like, is this even worth it? But that's what you know you have when you know you have a passion for something. You just kind of naturally get pulled right back to it. So we've been hitting balls all day and I kind of think I found something in the backswing that really just simplifies it. And I believe it's, it gets me on plane, but big upgrade with the grip. The, and I'm sure you've seen this tip a thousand times, but it really is pinching and getting this pointer finger, the club into this tiny little cup of the pointer finger, and then really pressing your thumb against the top of the shaft. And it creates this, this pinch on the shaft. And I've been, I've been just leaving my thumb over the shaft for so long. And I think it just leads to the club going places. You just have a lack of control, essentially. So I've made a little bit of a grip upgrade. And it even helps me. I can feel it help me get my, my right wrist into extension sometimes. I can just press against this, this trigger point. I think that's the common term for it. So, uh, you know, as long as I've been playing golf, I've never really thought about my grip all that much. I mean, yes, I move it, weaken it, strengthen it, but the trail hand, it's just always been a lot of an afterthought. So I feel good about that. We're going to hit three. No, no, uh, no swinging and then hitting no freezers. We're just hitting three full speed. Let's see where we're at. Playing them in the back of the stands. These things are popping up. Okay, we are off to an O for one start. And that swing directly contradicts the theme of yesterday's video, which was let it breathe up here in P4. I get up here and then the club can do so much more work that it was just so handsy there at P4. So, we're going to just channel that thought for this swing. You know, once we get the launch monitor in here, I'll be feeding the video the actual numbers. It'll be a lot more interesting, but you know, we skied that one. Um, we'll go one for two. Felt good. Probably caught a little high off the face. Probably my hands probably weren't as far in front of the ball and at impact as they should have been. But for the last one, I really want to stay connected and just chill. This is a sand wedge we're working with. Okay, we like that last one, or at least it felt good. Who knows what the video has to say. The video typically tells a different story. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look. All right, for the sign off here, I kind of want to bring to your attention, because it seems appropriate, the 20 year anniversary of the US Open. It'll actually be later this summer, but at Shinnecock Hills, um, I'm going to link the video in at the end screen here and the entire final round. Uh, and it's just an electric 
first half hour watch. I mean, I'm, I'm a sicko. If you're a sicko like me, you'll probably watch the whole thing. I did over a couple nights, but uh, within the first half hour to an hour, we have the golfers furious at the course. The greens were lost, as they say. Balls were running off greens. Uh, Stadler gave an interview just dumping on it after his kid just finished up shooting a, uh, a terrible round, just like everyone else. I think the scoring average for that, that Sunday was like 79. So you have that. Tiger had parted ways with Butch Harmon, and he was in a little bit of a, a major slump in so far that he could be uh, between 2002 to 2005 when he won the Masters. So, uh, so people were questioning his swing and what he was doing. Butch Harmon was an, an analyst for Sky News. He basically publicly outed him, questioned him what he was doing. Tiger responds. So there's bits of that in the first hour. And then Stevie Williams during the final round with Tiger grabs a camera out of the gallery. Um, so it's just an, uh, an electric uh, final round of a major. Um, I think they just recently played a major at Shinnecock Hills. But um, in this 2004, so, you know, I was in eighth, ninth grade and just all this stuff with ha was happening in golf and I just wasn't paying close attention to it. So I, I love going back and, and watching major, uh, major golf rounds at night, put them on, fall asleep to them, rewind them. It's just, it's great. I'm a sicko. So I bet you'd enjoy it too.